Welcome to Ninox Essential Series. In this video, we will learn about the if-then-else statement. The if-then-else statement executes a code block if a specific condition is true. If the condition is false, another block of code can be executed. The if-then-else statement is a part of conditional statements which are used to perform different actions based on different conditions. By the end of the tutorial, you will be one step further in efficiently automating your business processes. Let us start! We have a table, if-then-else statement, with four cases, each with a different field type. Let us explore the first case and familiarize ourselves with the if-then-else statement syntax. Our first case is a text field. When there is no name, in alert box we have a message name field is empty. After populating the name field, our text box content changes. Now we have the message thank you for entering your name. Let us have a look at the code. The syntax is straightforward. The statements start with the word if, followed by a condition. In our case, we set field name to be null. If this condition is true, then the statement will be executed. Our statement is name field is empty. Then we use else to specify a block of code to be executed if the same condition is false. So, if our first condition is false, our second statement will be executed. And that is, thank you for entering your name. There are always multiple ways of writing a code block. We have to know that the if-then-else statement checks if the expression is true. So, the same code block can be written like this too. If name is true, so if there is something in the name field, then we will have thank you for the entering your name visible, else it's going to be name field, it's empty. Examples from the videos are here only to show you some of the ways on how to use if then else statement. Possibilities are endless and we simply want to give you an idea and spark your creativity. Okay, let's continue with our second example. Our second case is with the choice field. So if our choice is Monday, we have a message working day. Tuesday also, Wednesday also, for Thursday and Friday we have a message we are closed on Thursday and Friday, sorry. What does the code look like? Let's check. So our condition is the ID of the choice. And here in the first line of code, we have also used OR between the conditions, which allows us to set multiple conditions in one line of code. So if the expression is true for any of these three conditions, the statement working days will be visible. Okay, afterwards we use else if to specify a new condition to test if the first condition is false and else if none of the above conditions are true. This was easy, right? Let's continue with our third example. Let us move to the third case with the number field. If we enter 25, payment method 
is going to be cash accepted. If in the number field we write 50, what is automatically um, transformed to 50 euros, then the payment method is going to be pay by card. The code behind is really simple. Our condition is if the number is smaller or equal to 30, then pay by card. Else, if the number is bigger than 30, then cash accepted. Else, number field is empty when we have no content in the number field. Amazing! Let's check our last case with the date. That is very popular and it's great to know how to add a color to our alert date. If we choose a date to be today, our alert date will have message followed by a color. Let's select tomorrow. We see a different message and a different color. Let's go back in time. So again, we have a different message and a different color. Let's check the code. The code is still very simple. We only added few more conditions and the only difference is the fact that we have add a styled function to our statements. Styled function takes two or more parameters. In our case, we defined a text and the color to be executed if the condition it's met, if the condition is true. This example is very handy for multiple situations in many businesses. Amazing! We have come to the end of the tutorial. Let's have a recap of what we have learned. We are familiar with if then else statement in Linux and its syntax. We now know how to apply these conditional statements on different field types in Linux like text, number, choice, or date field. Good job! Congrats! Linux.